All right, guys, Sanch here. Welcome back to another episode of Bodybuilding Today on the Bodybuilding News Network channel. Today, specifically, we're going to go over the Mr. Big Evolution Pro, the Portugal Pro, the 2021 Portugal Pro here on July 18th. So we're, what, six days, five days out from the Portugal Pro, and I want to go through the men's open bodybuilding first. I want to go through the lineup. I want to introduce you to every athlete, and then at the end, maybe we'll get a sneak peek on my predictions for who's going to be in that first call out at the Portugal Pro. So let's go ahead and start off with the first athlete. We have Jamie Atenza. Uh, here is a video, his most recent physique update on his Instagram. And from what we can see, uh, he, he has some pretty good vascularity coming in here. Uh, this was from four days ago, so it's about a week out. This is what we can expect to see uh, from him, from Jamie uh, at the Portugal Pro, uh, looking at the the wheels, the downstairs department. Uh, you can see that separation in the hamstrings. So very interested to see uh, how he performs at the Portugal Pro. And for Jamie at Tenza, the last time we saw him was at, uh, from what I've been able to find from my research, the last time we saw him was at the 2018 Veronica Gallego, Gallego uh, Classic in the 212. So this will be uh, Jamie's open debut here at the Portugal. So uh, best of luck to Jamie. We look forward to seeing uh, exactly what he's got going on uh, in his physique. Next, we have Tim Budesh. Budishim, Budeshim, apologies. Uh, pretty impressive physique, actually. Uh, really looking forward to seeing what he can bring to the stage. Uh, if you can look at these uh, most recent physique photos uh, on his Instagram, I mean, it's really impressive to see. Uh, definitely not what I expected. Uh, I'm really surprised with the caliber of athletes uh, coming to this show. Sometimes you get maybe like five, maybe six athletes that are really impressive, but um, but Tim here is just looking looking really good. Uh, really excited to see you know, what level of conditioning he's going to be bringing. It looks like he's dry, paper skin, uh, vascular, dice to the no socks here. And the last time we saw Tim Bud. Dishim, I apologize. Uh, the last time we saw him was at the 2019 Cali Pro, where he actually placed second in the Open. Uh, so a, uh, a formidable opponent uh, placing in the top two at, a, at an IFBB Pro show. Uh, very impressive in the Open. Uh, he has the physique to really do some damage here. I'm very inter interested to see uh, how he does at the Portugal and how he fares up to uh, some of the bigger names, some of the more... Um, uh, familiar athletes and then here's a uh, black back lat spread from uh, the year prior 2017 new york pro a, a very impressive physique i'm definitely interested to see uh, how this physique has changed over the you know, give or take three years since we've seen him on stage next on the list is adolf berghart uh this is the only instagram i found so apologize if he has another one i do apologize uh so actually, the last time we saw him was uh, when he won his pro card in, uh, I believe it was 2018. So uh, very interested to see uh, how he's been able to put some extra muscle on that physique. Uh, amazing conditioning. Um, it's been, I think, two years since we've seen him on stage here where he got his pro card um, at the San Marino. So very interested to see how he shows up at the Portugal Pro. Another big name, Alfred Chirik. Uh, we saw him last year at the uh, the 212 at the Spain. So uh, again, he's coming back here, but uh, he's been working with his coach and uh, with Patrick Tour, and he's been working to go into the Open. So this is actually going to be his Open debut from 212 to Open. Uh, he did really well last year. He placed well in a lot of shows in Europe, uh, and I'm very very excited to see how he does here at Portugal. Uh, he's put on a lot of muscle. I'm really interested to see uh, how this all translates onto the stage with the lighting, with the dieting, uh, with the tan and the gloss. Uh, very excited uh, to see how this goes down. And like I said, the last time we saw him was uh, uh, at the, um, the Europa Pro actually in Spain. Very impressive physique, uh, beautiful, beautiful shape, beautiful flow, uh, the symmetry, very good physique. 
uh, but he's definitely put on some muscle this year. So we'll see uh, how that how that translates into the open. Uh, next, another familiar face, uh, Theo Liguria, or I always say it wrong, Theo Liguria. A very, very impressive physique. Uh, he really shocked a lot of people at the Puerto Rico Pro this year, the 2021. Uh, hey, bud. Puerto Rico Pro. Uh, he looked, the way he was standing on stage made it look like he was uh, really outsizing and out angling a, a lot of the other a lot of the other competitors. And like I said, the last time we saw him was at the Portugal Pro, uh, a very impressive physique. The, the, the tie-ins, the flow of his physique, it just goes together uh, very well. This is some prejudging shots. He sharpened up a little bit in the finals, uh, so we're very interested to see uh, what kind of uh, conditioning he can bring. The physique speaks for itself. Uh, very beautiful physique, very uh, flowing muscles, big, large, great insertion points, full bellies. Another competitor we're very excited to see. Next on the list... Sergio Lima sounds very close to Sergio Lima, uh, but Sergio Lima is another competitor who will be competing at the Portugal. Uh, looking very good. From what I can tell, this is going to be his pro debut. So the last time we saw Sergio Lima, Sergio Lima, interesting name, was at the 2019 Portugal Pro where he qualified uh, and got his pro card. Uh, a little, little bit of gyno here, but I'm sure he got that figured out. Uh, but very interested to see uh, what he can bring to this stage. Uh, it looks like he has uh, some good striations here. Muscle bellies look fantastic. Uh, and this photo was from six days ago from today. Six days ago from today. So about 12 days out from the Portugal Pro. No introduction needed here. William Martins placed seventh, I believe, at the Portugal Pro. I already made a video talking about how potentially he was overlooked. Just an amazing physique. Uh, these uh, striations, the conditioning that he brought to the Portugal, I thought was much, much better than most of the competitors there. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. The question is, how is he going to show up at the Portugal Pro? And here's some stage shots from his last show at the Puerto Rico Pro. Uh, came in absolutely fantastic. Great conditioning. Uh, a huge improvement from his last showing in 2020. But uh, again, another competitor we're very excited to see. Another competitor doesn't need an introduction, Andrea Muzi or Andrea Muzilla, as he goes on Instagram. Great physique, placed very well uh, in that top 10 at the Puerto Rico Pro as well. So we're very interested to see uh, how his prep stays and maintains that uh, the muscle fullness and the conditioning that he brought to the Puerto Rico as he comes into this uh, Portugal Pro. And some stage shots from his last show, like I said, the 2021 Puerto Rico Pro. Just uh, probably one of my favorite physiques. I had him in the top four. Uh, it didn't turn out that way. Uh, when you come from the front here, it's just uh, world bending of a physique. And then it kind of shallows out in the back. Uh, it is what it is. Um, it doesn't look like he's opening up in this shot. So hopefully he's able to kind of manipulate and tweak some things as he's getting ready uh, for the Portugal Pro. Moving right down the line, Paul Polzek. Paul Polzek is the next competitor that will be competing at the Portugal Pro in the open class. Uh, he has a very nice flowing physique, uh, very streamlined, nothing's blown out. Something that you're going to notice about this show is everyone, uh, if they're not young, they look young. Nothing is abused, the midsections look really nice. Uh, every, almost everyone can hold a vacuum. Uh, it's really impressive to see. Last time we saw him was at the 2018, um, uh, the 2018 New York Pro. Apologies. Uh, very impressive physique. I think he placed uh, either 16th or did not place at all. Um, but it looks like a lot of it came down to the conditioning. Uh, you can see that there is some striations in the glutes, but uh, there's definitely some improvements there. It was also the 2018 was uh, a massive New York pro, so can't knock the guy. So uh, another competitor interested to see how he shows up here in Portugal. And uh, Suhoruchko, I always butcher his actual name, uh, Vladislav Suhoruchko. 
and he goes by Vlad Suharuchko. If you want to look up um, Voice Squeak, if you want to look him up on NPC News Online, that's where you'll find his photos. Uh, probably one of uh, the bigger names coming into the show after his second place finish at the 2020 Romania Pro, right underneath of Regan Grimes, uh, is really where for me he came onto the scene in my in my uh, vision of bodybuilding. Uh, so very, again, I'm excited to see everyone, but uh, I am especially interested to see how this translates into the Portugal pro stage. And as mentioned earlier, uh, the last time we saw him was at the Romania, where he placed second behind Regan Grimes. Debatably, debatably, I think he won. Regan Grimes came really soft in, uh, came in very soft at that show, but I feel like his name won, whereas uh, Suharuchko didn't have as much clout, unfortunately. Uh, and that's just judging politics uh, 101 there. But a very beautiful physique nonetheless, and I definitely see him placing very well at the Portugal Pro. Next on the list is Jan Turek. John, John, John Turek, uh, IFBB Pro coach. Uh, he's also being coached by Patrick Tour. Uh, physique, really impressive the last time we saw him was at uh, the europa pro as well so a lot of these guys competed last year uh, in that european circuit between the the, the european pro the europa pro uh the uh the spain pro and then also the uk um the two bros pro show so a lot of these guys really ran through the circuit last year. He looked absolutely fantastic. It looks like uh, him and Patrick Tour have put on some serious muscle this year. Uh, so I'm very interested to see uh, how this comes in. Like, is this actually going to show up on stage? He's a very pale gentleman, so uh, he might get that uh, <laughs> he might get that Caucasian dry benefit uh, if he really comes in um, at peak conditioning. And last but not least. Kristan uh, Wolski, uh, a young gentleman, couldn't find anything on the NPC site for him, so apologies there, but uh, luckily he's been posting plenty on his Instagram. So you can enjoy watching this as we conclude the men's open preview for the Portugal Pro. Lots of beautiful physiques coming into the show. Uh, some big names, some rising stars, and potentially, uh, as we can see here with Kristen, uh, maybe some dark horses as well. And that'll do it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching another episode of Bodybuilding Today on the Bodybuilding News Network. I'm your host, Sanj. Subscribe if you want to see more. Comment below if you guys are interested in seeing another video like this as we get ready for the Portugal Pro. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Links are in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.